Hello reception. I hope we're all doing fantastic. And well done for logging on and watching the last PE lesson if you did. And we're back for some more fun. So in today's lesson, we're gonna do a warm up and we're gonna do a main session. And then we're gonna do like a little debrief where I'll speak to you about what we've done in the whole lesson. So reception, for your warm up and your main session today, you're gonna need a pair of socks. So your warm up is just going to be a little recap of what we done in our first lesson. So it was throwing and catching. So quickly pause the video, get yourself your, your pair of socks ready, and then we're gonna get started. Warm up today is, as I said in the introduction, is going to be a recap of what we done last week. So we're gonna have, start off by just going over our little fingers and we're gonna be working on throwing and catching with two hands. So as we said before, the socks are going to be some cereal and we're gonna make a cereal bowl with our little fingers. So our little fingers are gonna be touching and we're gonna see if we can do 10 throw and catches with two hands. So are we ready? Start off with two hands, three, two, one, off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good stuff. So, really important when we're throwing and catching is that we're using our eyes. Because as I said before, if I'm throwing and catching and I don't look at where the socks are, I'm going to end up dropping them. Okay, so it's really important that when we're throwing and catching, we're keeping our eyes on the socks or on the cereal and keeping it trapped inside of our cereal bowl. So we're gonna give that one more try. So two hands starting off, throwing up, keeping our eyes on them and then trying to do 10 catches. So are we ready? Three, two, one, off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Excellent. So we spoke about keeping our eyes on our object last week. We also spoke about not having our feet stuck onto the floor like that game stuck in the mud. So if we've ever played stuck in the mud and we just, you get caught, you have to stay still like this. So we don't want to be stuck in the mud because if the sock goes behind me, I'm not gonna be able to catch it because I'm staying still. So it's really important that I'm really light on my feet and I'm on my tippy toes. So I want you to imagine you're on a bouncy castle. So when you're on your bouncy castle, you normally move from one spot to the other on your tippy toes so you can get around that bouncy castle really, really quickly. So it's the same when we're throwing and catching. If I throw it behind me, I need to take a step back quickly, move my feet nice and fast, just so I can catch the object without it dropping on the floor. So we're gonna try that 10 more times again. But if you accidentally maybe throw it too far in front, can you take a step forward to catch? If you throw it behind, can we take a couple steps backwards to catch as well? I'm gonna add the little point system in just to add that little bit of fun. Every time you throw it up and catch, one point. So the maximum amount of points we can get is 10. Are we ready? Are we steady? Three, two, one, off we go. Throwing it up, catch. One point to me. Two. Three points so far. Four. Four points. Five. Six. Seven. Whoa, that one hit the washing line. Eight. Nine. Last one. 
and 10 points to me. Hopefully, you manage to get a lot of amount of points as well, but it doesn't matter because we're still going to carry on with the point system for the next one. So, that was with two hands. So, we had our cereal bowl and we were throwing it up and we was catching. Remember, we're going to do it again, so don't worry. Remember, what did we speak about? Just have a little think. What did we speak about we needed to do just to keep this nice and safe once we've caught it? Just have a think, and then I'll tell you the answer in about three seconds. So, what we did need to do is we needed to throw it up. Once we've caught the socks... We needed to give it a little cuddle and hold it nice to our chest so it didn't roll out of our bowl and land on the floor. So as I'm catching, I'm holding it nice and close to my chest and I'm giving it a cuddle. So that's what we was doing. So now, for the next 10 throws, can we try and throw it up, catch and cuddle, hold it nice and close to our chest. Are we ready? Three, two, one, and off we go. One, Ooh, hold it close. Two, hold it nice and close. Good, try not to drop it. Three, remember, give yourself a point every time you catch. Four, five, five more. Six, good. Seven, as you can see, my eyes are always on the pair of socks, just so I can see. Eight, two more, nine, and last one, ten. Ten points for me once again. Well done. So, we're now going to move it on to make it a little bit harder. So, last week in our main session, we started off with two hands. Then we moved into one hand. So, this will make it a little bit harder. As before, we're just recapping what we've done last week in the warm-up. And we're going to be playing a game called coach says in the main session today so it's a bit like simon says but my name's not simon okay so we're going to be playing coach says today in our main session so when we're doing our throwing and catching with one hand one hand is going to go behind our back we're going to start it off with one hand and we're going to try and catch it in that same hand as well so we're going to start off with our let's start off with our weaker hand today so I'm going to start off with my right hand. I'm going to have my left hand behind my back. I'm going to try and throw it up, catch, and hold it close. Same thing. If you manage to throw it up and catch it and hold it close, give yourself one point. So, weaker hand or not so strong hand. Are we ready? So I'm going to use my right. My left is going to be behind my back. Three, two, one, go. Up, catch. One. Up catch two two points three four five keeping my eyes on the socks at all time moving my feet if i have to seven three more eight oh nearly drop that one nine and last one ten fantastic hopefully you got a nice amount of points that round as well so that was with our weaker hand so that might have been the hardest one that we're going to do in the warm-up because we're using one hand the surface of one hand is smaller than the sur surface of two so it might it will make it a little bit harder just to catch the pair of socks so we're now going to move on to our stronger hand, and this will be the final one before we get into our main session. So, same thing, but this time I'm going to use my left hand because it's my stronger. My right hand is going to be behind my back. Ten throws, see how many points we can get. Are we ready? Are we steady? And off we go. One. Two, remember, hold it nice and close to your chest after you've had your throw and catch. Good. Three. Oh, that one was nice and high. Four. Five. Six. 
seven, eight, two more. Uh -oh. oh no, dropped it. First drop of the day. And the last one, 10. So I managed to get nine points that time because my washing line made the socks change direction really quickly. So well done to start off with. In the main session, you will need your pair of socks. So just keep them in your hand and we're going to get started now. Just go and get yourself a quick drink as well, just so we're ready. Excellent stuff. Reception, well done in the warm up. We're now moving into our main session. And as I said in the warm up, it's going to be called Coach Says. So I'm just going to quickly explain it to you. If you've ever played the game Simon Says, what's going to happen is I'm going to say Coach Says throw up with two hands and catch with two hands. So I'm going to say something. And if I say coach says before I say what you need to do, then you need to do it. If I just say something without saying coach says before, you don't do it. So I'll give you an example. If I say coach says throw up with one hand and catch with two, you need to do it. So you throw up with one, catch with two. Because I said coach says. If I say throw up with two hands, catch with two hands, don't do it, because I didn't say coach says. So, we're gonna have 10 turns. Every time you get it right, you get yourself one point. So the maximum amount of points we can get again is 10. So it's this game is a really, really good listening game. So it's really important that we're following instructions and we're listening really well. So, if I say coach says, before I say the sentence, you need to do it. If I just say the sentence or say catch or throw and catch, don't do it because I didn't say coach says. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Coach says throw up with two hands and catch with two hands. Good. One point if you throw it up and caught it because I said coach says. Good. Ready. Coach says throw up with two hands, catch with two hands. Good, well done. Coach says throw up with one hand, catch with two hands. Throw up with one hand, catch with one hand. Well done. If you didn't throw it up with one hand and catch with one hand, give yourself a point as well, because I didn't say coach says. Excellent, good. Are we ready? Coach says, throw up with two hands, catch with two hands. Brilliant. Coach says, throw up with two hands, catch with one hand. Throw up however you like and catch. Well done, good. If you didn't do it, excellent. Really good listening. Right, coach says, throw up with one hand, catch with one hand. Brilliant, good stuff. Ready, coach says throw up with one hand, catch with the other. Good, and last one, coach says throw up with two hands, catch with two hands. Throw an up and catch. Brilliant, really good start. So now we've got the hang of it, that was just the practice round. Okay, so don't worry too much if you didn't get much points. So what you need to do is in this game, we're thinking quite a lot because we need to listen out to what I'm saying. We need to listen out to if I say coach says or if I don't. And we also need to listen out for what information I'm given when I do say coach says. So if you hear me say coach says, you need to listen out for if I did. And you also need to listen out to what information I'm given while I'm saying it. So you need to be listening if I say two hands, one hand, two hands, two hands. So it's really important we're using our ears. Also, now, if you throw your socks up and you don't manage to catch them so they drop on the floor, you don't get your point. 
So you need to make sure that we're keeping our socks nice and safe. So throwing them up and catching them also. So you've got quite a lot to think about, but this means you just need to stay nice and focused on the screen. So are we ready? That was the practice round. We're gonna have maybe two more rounds. So let's see how many points we can get. Are we ready? So we'll do 10, we'll have a little maybe five second break and then we'll do 10 again. So are we ready? Coach says, throw up with two hands, catch with one. Coach says, throw up with two hands, catch with one. Coach says, throw up with two hands, catch with one. Throw up with two hands, catch with one. Good, well done. If you didn't throw it up, well, give yourself an extra point because I didn't say coach says. Are we ready? Throw up with one hand, catch with one. Good, so I've done it twice in a row then. Good, well done if you're listening. Coach says throw up with one hand, catch with the other hand. Throw up, catch. Brilliant. Coach says throw up with one hand, catch with the other. Good. Coach says throw up with two hands, catch with two hands, and give it a cuddle. Up, catch, and cuddle. Brilliant. Two more. Coach says throw it up and catch however you like. And last one. Coach says throw up with two hands, catch with two hands. Throw up and catch. Brilliant stuff. So, well done. Just think about how many points you got in the first round. And now we're going to try and beat it in the second round. So I maybe I think I got about eight points that time. So I'm going to try and now and get t maybe nine or ten points. So if you got six points, you need to try and get seven or more to try and beat that score. So are we ready? Are we steady? Coach says, throw up with two hands, catch with one hand. Throw up and catch brilliant catch says catch says coach says put one hand behind your back throw it up with one hand and catch with the same hand up catch brilliant coach says do the same thing one hand behind your back throw it up with one hand oh no catch with the same hand oh no i didn't get a point that time right coach says throw up with two hands Catch with two hands and give it a cuddle. Throw it up, catch, cuddle. Brilliant. Ready, next one. Coach says, throw it up with one hand, catch with the other. Throw it up, catch. Coach says, put one hand behind your back, throw it up with one hand, catch with the same hand. Throw it up with two hands, catch with two hands. Brilliant, good, good listening, ready? Coach says, throw it up with one hand, catch with the other hand. Throw it up with one hand, catch with the other hand. Throw your socks up with one hand, catch with the same hand. Brilliant, good. And last one, throw it up with one hand, catch with two hands. Good, right. So, add up how many points you got that time and see if you've managed to beat your score. Right, reception. Really well done. In the next part of the lesson is just going to be me going back over what we've done in the lesson today. So well done and I will see you next week. So reception. In our warm up today we went over what we've done last week. So our throwing and catching. So when we're throwing, a few things we need to think about is obviously the height that we're throwing at. Because if we're throwing it too high it might go over the fence if we're working outside or it might break something in our house if we're throwing it too high so it's really important that we're keeping it nice and low just so we can keep our eye on it and catch it nice and easily so throwing really important that we're keeping the distance or the height quite sensible second thing with catching is when we're throwing Really important that we've got our little fingers together. Because if, if there's a gap, 
if there's a gap in between, it, the socks might go through and it might land on the floor, which we don't want to happen. So it's really important that when we're throwing, our little fingers are together just so the socks go straight inside. And we spoke about giving it a little cuddle just to keep it really close. Because if the socks are squashed towards our chest and our hands are covering, there's no way the socks will be able to fall onto the floor. So really important, two things is keeping our little fingers together and holding it really close to our chest once we've had our catch. But all, always, most important thing when we're throwing and catching is to keep our eyes on the object that we're catching. Because if I'm looking this way and I throw it up, there's a big, big chance that I'm not gonna be able to catch them because I'm not looking at the socks. So it's really important when I'm throwing up, keeping my eyes on the socks at all times. Little fingers are together, holding close to my chest. So we just went over what we done last week, working on frame with two hands, catching. Working on frame with one hand, with one hand behind our back, and catching. And we also worked on throwing with our weaker hand today. So we're throwing it up, catching, and holding it close. So we added a point system in. Every time we throw it up and catch, we managed to get ourselves one point. And then in our main session today, we had a little game called Coach Says. So it's a bit like Simon Says, where you needed to listen out for a few things. If I said Coach Says, then you needed to do whatever I said. If I just said something without saying Coach Says, we didn't do it. So if I said, throw up with two hands and catch with two hands, would we do it? No, because I didn't say coach says. If I say coach says throw up with one hand and catch with the other, would I do it? Yes, I would, so I'd throw it up and catch. We needed to think about a few things. One was being if I said coach says or not. The second one listening out for the information that I was given after I said coach says, or if I didn't. So if I said two hands throw, two hands catch, you needed to throw it up with two, catch with two. If I said throw it up with two hands, catch with one, you'd have to throw it up, catch with one. So you needed to think about all the different information that I was given. So it was quite a good thinking game while we was having fun and working on our catching at the same time. But today, reception, I thought you've been amazing. So really, really well done. Uh, you can always come back to this video and I'll be setting daily challenges once more uh, next week. So you can have a go at those as well. But well done and I will see you in your next lesson.